Hyper Hexagon. Welcome back to another Hyper Hexagon episode of Pokemon Soul Silver. We have Pokeballs this time. This time we have Pokeballs. Although I did run into a Sableye that I attempted to throw one Pokeball at for. Funsies. We have one fewer Pokeball. We have one few. Hi, Gyarados. Okay. <laughs> yeah. um, we out. have one fewer Pokeballs just because. Rude. I always underestimated how much Intimidate actually, like, lowered the attack stat. Uh, I mean, it's I just younger. one one stage, but it, it does, is it one just, like... Is it just one stage? I thought it was, like, yeah. two. No, it's just one. But it's, like, that one... But just that one, though, is, like... Yeah, it's, a, it's is, annoying. It's quite the difference. Or maybe what I'm thinking of is, like... Because I played, um... Third Gen a lot growing up. So maybe I'm thinking of, like... Trainers that would send out multiple Pokemon that had like intimidate, and that I would just that is often a thing because like the the team Aqua or team Magma would have they would like, have multiple lots of mighty Mighty-Ena. Ena. Yeah. yeah, they would have multiple mighty Enos. So, so you know when I'm primarily a Blaziken chooser for uh, for my final type, it becomes annoying when my double kick or whatever. Uh, physical attack doesn't do much. Yeah. I forget, is fire, um, in third gen, is fire based off of special or physical? Fire would be based off of special in third okay. gen. Oh, gosh darn it, I'm trying to just, just like. Look in the little out, rock yeah. nook. Those little rock nooks are always suspicious to me. I'm like, that I mean, looks that's, like. That's. That's a good suspicion to have, because oftentimes that is where items get hid. Like a great ball! <laughs> like a great ball. Goodness what gracious. Was I... <laughs> what did I tell you? Net gain of a Pokeball now. Well, maybe... Well, no. Technically well, not a net gain, but... I mean... Sort of a gain, because it's a better ball than yeah. the... Because I, I threw the Premier Ball, so... <laughs> yeah. It's kind of a gain. You lost a Pokeball that provides a 1 to the crazy Pokeball equation and gained one that provides a 1.5 to the crazy Pokeball equation. Therefore, 1.5 is greater than 1. Which, speaking of said equation, as we we're getting our way back over I, here I again, did forget to mention the second part of it, which is this weird square root division thing. Also courtesy of Dragonfly Cave... It's like a double square root equation. And then the game will randomly generate like four numbers in sequence. And as long as the the Y number from this equation is greater than the numbers that it generates, that causes the Pokeball to shake. And then you just keep going and hope that your number is greater than Y four times. Or your Y is greater than its number four times. There we go. Cause it's like I look at, cause I looked at the first equation you sent, and I'm like, I feel like that's not that bad of an equation to figure out. And then you're like, wait, hold on. <laughs> and then you send me the next one. I'm like, okay, I see where the complication arises from. Pokemon math. Yeah. Hey, another great ball. Now we're hey, at a net gain. Now, <laughs> now we're definitely gaining Pokeball. We're getting those gains. Hi? So this is one of the 1% encounters in this area. What the heck? I was about to say I'm surprised I'm faster than it, but I'm also like literally 12 you're, levels above yeah, it. You're almost three levels three times its level, but you know. Too bad it's not a psychic run. Although at the same time, this would turn into the Dark Rise situation. Yeah, it would turn into we hang out in Union Cave for forever and even longer because Dark Rise is at least a five percent chance of appearing. This is a one percent chance. <laughs> in danger of falling over. Oh no! Catch your balance, girl. Point ah. <laughs> you say rut row, you're three times its <laughs> level. <laughs> then you got a critical hit anyway. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, you know, it's that it's that knee jerk reaction of, uh, uh oh, fire type. Yeah, I'm an ice type. Hold on. Oh, hey, save away. I'm gonna give it one Pokeball. All right, it lost its chance. You know, because I'm curious, I'm gonna use the uh, equation. <laughs> well, I'm gonna use the calculator it's so helpfully provided by Dragonfly Cave here. I feel like we had. I feel like you had. Um told me the chances of that before when we were first yeah. trying to find a Sableye, but I forget what they were. I don't know if this number will change it if I do like that. Oops. Yeah, no, okay. Uh, it's about 6.25% chance on just a raw Pokeball. I feel like there's an upper part to this cave I did not explore, and I don't know if I should uh, go back. There is. You can't explore it yet. You need more HMs. That's all I needed to hear. Also, when was the next time? When's the next time Weavile learns a uh, move? Ah, uh, that would be. Give me thirty seconds to actually find that out for you. Uh, twenty-one. Assuming oh, okay. you're not. Yeah, twenty-one. Because I was just thinking about it, I'm like, you know, I should probably just give it Rock Smash as well, for the time being. The, the next time it learns a move that I would consider vaguely useful, uh, 28. <laughs> well, that's good to know. I was thinking about it, I'm like, you know, I really should just give it, like, Rock Smash to deal with certain things that it currently just doesn't have any typing for. Or any counter for. I finally got through the cave. It was much bigger than I expected. It's a big cave. It's bigger on the inside. There's nothing on this route either I have to worry about, right? Uh, I don't think so. Hi, Walrein! <laughs> I feel like the game delayed there for a second when it <laughs> when I went up to that guy. Yeah, just a little bit. Sometimes like it that'll happen. I feel like it kind of had to think for a second. <laughs> the ring continues to fall. It's almost like it's a heavy rain. No, that uh, you play that with speed. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Who are you? You don't know us? We are Team Rocket. What? We broke up a while ago. Give me yeah, a break. This, this we a have not game. broken up. No, it's a different game. Well, actually, like the... we, we did once, but we're back. Yeah, no. We're back and we're pursuing Giovanni's ambition. I love that tactical RPG. Enough talk. Have at you. Man, what a jerk. Hi, can I come in? Nope. So I see, I see, I see you, uh, I see you encroaching on our turf. <laughs> don't, don't like that. You, you'll be good to know that I'll remember this. Hey, old man. You've disappeared from town. Tails are being sold somewhere. Interesting. Oh yeah, isn't that like a thing where like slowpoke tails are like a delicacy or something? They is so like yeah, but I don't. <laughs> no great balls here. Not yet. I feel like I'm just gonna wait until uh, we come across a store that has great balls to actually uh, spend that on or spend money on. Got this tough guy called Kurt in this town. Should be able to take care yeah, of. Yeah, you. You're, you're a Kingdom Hearts guy. You all you know all about tough guy names named Kurt. Tough guys <laughs> named Kurt. There we go. Why is that? Why is the weird Kingdom Hearts one super boss named Kurt Zisa? I don't know. 
<laughs> I always have this, like, subconscious, like, ew, Kurt, like, whenever talking about Kurt Sousa. Because, like, I remember when I was younger, I, like, stumbled upon it, um, by accident, and got my butt beaten by it, like, constantly, that it kind of made me have, like, this initial, like, I hate that boss. Even though, like, realistically, nowadays, it's not really that bad to take on. Kurt Zisa is named after Kurt Zisa of Medford, New York, who won Square's Kingdom Hearts name in a game contest held two months prior to the game's American release. Well, that explains it. All right. Thinking of, um, oh no, it's Psy- I was about to say it's Psyduck I'm thinking of. Um, in Gen in Generation 4, our, um, Diamond and Pearl. Also, someone you- tried calling me and I, like, completely... Uh, it's, it's fine. <laughs> Um, there's that whole section where it's like, um, there are side the side blocking the way, yeah. And then, at, and then at one point, like freaking Team Galactic literally just blow up an entire area. It's like holy crap! <laughs> Old dude and kids. Hey, dude, can you help me out? Need need some balls to be made. <laughs> nope. What do you mean? Do you know Team Rocket? Nah, I got, let me dump my exposition on you. <laughs> it's an evil gang used to use Pokemon for dirty work. Yeah, so? I don't see the issue here. <laughs> They're at the well, cutting off Slowpoke Tail's cheese. <laughs> yeah. I mean, where else? how else do you think you get the tails? Wait, Grandpa's gone. I'm so lonely. She, he was, he literally just left, girl. <laughs> He's, she's so lonely. Do you go this way? Yeah. Let me guess. I'm gonna walk upon him getting beaten up. In the well we go. Hey, look, there's a slowpoke. Hmm. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Took off when I shouted at him. But then he fell down. Dude. <laughs> if I were fit, my Pokemon would have punished them. Show them how gutsy we are. All right. And gee, I wonder what we might find in the Slowpoke well. Probably not Slowpoke. Standing on guard up top, some old coot yelled at me. <laughs> Sorry, I me so much down. I fell down. <laughs> Everybody's fallen down. Uh, I can confirm there are no slowpoke in slowpoke. Well, <laughs> that's funny. There is, however, s- slow kings in here. Nope. No, no slow. No nothing. slow anything. Starly, huh? Well, <laughs> currently my entire team's basically at level 20, so. What level does uh, Houndour evolve at again? 28. Was it like 26 or 28? 24. Oh. Oh, hey, an Ivysaur. Hey. Um, are there any moves that Houndour learn kind of earlier that would be worth to keep it from leveling up? Or, like, to hold off That's... on leveling it up sooner? Or, or evolving it, I mean? Not really. Alright. You, you get a... You get a two-level difference in Fire Fang. You get a three-level difference in Fang Attack. Like, it's not... Yeah, that, that's nothing. Because that's always something that, like... It's one of those, like... I know it's a thing, 
but I've never realistically have ever felt the need to hold off evolving a Pokemon. Like, only if there was, like, a move that the Pokemon, for some reason, can't- doesn't learn when it evolves. That seems very, like, original <laughs> for a Team Rocket member to just have a Rattata. <laughs> like, that doesn't- it seems like it was an unrandomized one. That, on the other hand, looks- that was definitely a randomized. Oh, no. Not that it matters that much, but- Yeah. I... It did, no? actually. <laughs> Oh no, 11 damage, whatever will you do? You rotten brat! You got that right. Okay, there's definitely gotta be a hidden item on here. <laughs> Yo, what's up? If we listened to you, Team Rocket's rep would be ruined. Bro, it's already been ruined. I was about to say, like, what's... What rep? What rep? You got beat by a 12-year-old. A zigzagoon, huh? Zigzagoon. Yay, critical. Pop it. TFP, what's a Pokemon that you say that you would say that you kind of like but wish had a lot wish was a lot more usable uh we, we've talked about my my enjoyment of Ledian and wishing it was better that's true uh, in a, in a past episode um Noctowl I think would be another one Lantern I think is a big one for me because Lantern has a like a bunch of weirdly interesting little niches niches but they're not they tend to not be the best stat wise to to fill their their little niches yeah um cuz uh, i believe this is still the case it was definitely the case when i paid the most attention to competitive pokemon which was this generation uh but lantern is the only cuz uh Electricity and ice, like those two moves together, cover most types. And Lantern, I believe, is the only Pokemon that can learn Thunderbolt and Ice Beam, and also resists both Thunderbolt and Ice Beam. Hmm. Interesting. I believe that's still the case. It could... There... It, it could not be. I, <laughs> I'll admit I don't keep up with like weird facts like that, considering it was a lot easier to keep facts like that straight when there were, you know, slightly under five hundred compared to slightly over a thousand. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like I'm trying to think of Pokemon that I that I like, that I also wish were a little more usable, or at least a little more usable in the way that I play. I think I've talked about kind of how, like, whenever I tried to use Weavile, I can never really use use them effectively, but it also comes with the fact that their move set without breeding is not the greatest. It was indeed broken up three users, but we continued. <laughs> Another 12-year-old? God. Not again! <laughs> My
My back's better after tumbling down a large height from a well. Yes, you know, sometimes you just stretch out good and you feel better. Disbanded by a boy called Red. Now they've now they're back. In any case, can you please get them off our turf? <laughs> they're really they're really hurting the business. Ooh. So a fastball would actually probably be pretty good for. Uh... That's yeah. That's one of those like you throw it at the beginning. Is that you throw it? No, at the beginning? you're thinking of the quick ball. Quick ball. Uh, the, okay. The fastball. Uh, does better against Pokemon with a base speed over a hundred. Interesting. There's a part of me that wants to ask what each Apricorn. Uh, let me does, but let me take a look real quick, because I... so the thing to note about the Apricorn stuff is that it will take a full in-game full day, day, right? Which uh. Which is basically after this a, recording session. A recording session, session basically. Uh, heart, gold, and soul, silver. Do, do, do. Uh, fastball is white apricorn. If you have any of those. I have, you have one. one. Um, black apricorns are heavy balls, which might be something. I feel like that'd uh, be I useful don't... for like trying to catch a Tyranitar type thing. Yeah. Uh, red apricorns are level balls, which, uh, you, if you had a level 40 Pokemon, it would cut the, it would change the, the number to like a times eight boost for the level ball, which would be kind of funny. Love ball. This ball works better on Pokemon of the opposite gender. Well, that won't so be any that use will, for... That will not be helpful for our purposes. The lure ball for the blue apricorns. I was, would, I was just uh, looking. I was just looking at that, wondering if that would actually apply. That to would this. count because you are fishing for Darkrai, uh, and the moon ball would not count because <laughs> it doesn't evolve with a moonstone. That's a the moon ball. I feel like is the most like that. I feel like that's just like specific to like one or two Pokemon. So I. It, let me check, because I think that was different in the original Gen 2, because I think the, the Moon Ball was basically a Dusk Ball. Oh, nope, never mind. In Gen 2, it was a Ball for Moonstone Evolvers. Okay. Which is, like, how many Pokemon? One or two? Uh, Jigglypuff, Clefairy, Nidorans. Oh, I didn't know the Nidorans uh, evolved with the Moonstone, actually. Yeah. Well, so it... it it, it doesn't apply for, like, just the specific Pokemon. It's, like, the entire evolution chain. So, yeah, Nidorino and Nidorina evolve right. with a Moonstone into that, Nidoking that's and Nidoqueen. Um, also, the two Pokeballs that would probably benefit us the most, we do not have the Apricorns for, or Apricorns for. <laughs> Dang it. We literally have neither a red or blue Apricorn. We have one white one, but it's like, it's one. <laughs> yeah. So until I, uh, until I find uh, some red and white apricorns, uh, I'm probably not getting too many pokeballs that are gonna benefit us. Or what's what's um dark rise base speed? 125. Okay, I mean the, at least a fastball would help. Yeah. It does change the, the base percentage of success if you get it down to red health to a 4.3% chance of capturing it per ball. Yeah. Also, I'm not liking the idea that there's fighting types here. <laughs> Let's just use uh, Pontcrow. I mean, this is true. And then there's a Feebass, so then I'm not even really concerned anymore. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I well, cook, it's, it's probably gonna be fish. fine anyway. Uh, it's, gonna, it's gonna do that. Um, but I love how at an insane angle Feebas is there for no reason. It's fine. BDSP had a bunch of other. You should just just bite cheese. It. Smog just, just doesn't want to freaking hit. Just, just use bite. No. What the? Okay, fine. 
Um, BDSP had a bunch of Pokemon that when you would catch them and it would take you to the screen of like, do you want to nickname this Pokemon? And they would just be at this insane angle. And it's just like, why? <laughs> why are we doing this? Okay, so the move here would be... Take the left one. Yeah. The, this puzzle has a name, and Speed would know it, because I believe it's Japanese in origin, but... Oh, this type of puzzle? Yeah, the... the Always take a turn, take a path when you have the chance to take a path puzzle. Krikata! It's almost the Pokémon that makes the funny cry, but not the Pokémon that makes the funny cry. I mean, it's kind of a funny cry on its own. It just sounds it's a, like yeah, it's a, it's still it sounds a like someone doing like a like just sliding a, a xylophone hammer down, you know? Basically. Like, do, 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 do. I didn't want to chance it with a bee barrel. Bee barrel. I like B Barrel because it learns almost every HM for like no good reason. <laughs> it's literally, it's literally the perfect HM user. Pretty much. It's why in BDSP, whenever you use a use the the watch app to call a HM, it's just it's, here yeah, comes a B Barrel. It's a B Barrel. <laughs> because it can just learn all of them. Oh, that's right. Azurul is just normal type. Azurul is just normal in this generation, yes. This always... Did they change that eventually? Uh, they made it normal fairy. I, I don't get why they made it a normal type. It's obviously, like, a part of a water type chain. Oh, whoops. Um, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Well, we're Would gonna you like have to a play double a battle. Game? Do, I, do I need to bust out my bad uh, saw impression? Even though you're making a reference to The Shining. I mean, to be honest, I I barely know what I'm making a reference to. I just know that I'm trying I'm trying to be funny in some way. I have no idea what that just did for me. I dropped the blue. Ah, thing, so. okay, I see. So yeah, you're you're now yeah, just now have a straight gonna... shot at uh, Bugsy. But I want to fight the other guy. So I, I okay, I think I see how that works. I was supposed to pull the lever at the. Uh... I was supposed to pull the lever at the front of this before. Yes, and then that would take you to that guy. Oh! The egg evolved! Hey! All, from all my running around. A Remoraid! Oh! Wait, that's not a Togepi! <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! Well, you know, you asked earlier this episode, or was it last episode? <laughs> um, hold on. How do I switch? Uh, oh, it's select. Select, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, well, we found out what was in the egg. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, we will not be. Caving it's not it. a dark type, unfortunately. It's not a dark type, so. I I mean, I guess I, I guess with that, maybe I should I should probably just release it. <laughs> eh, just put it in your PC. All right. Rylu, I love you. Uh, it'll be good if we don't find like a, uh, like a a Sharpedo or Carvana before we need to surf. Oh, that's like, true. It would be so like a, it'd be a we, decent like kind of keep it on the back back end for surf. Yeah, let me make sure it can actually learn surf first of all. Actually, that's a good point. 
Make sure it's not one of those evolu not one of those pre-evolutions that's basically useless until it evolves. It can learn surf. Okay. Can learn surf, whirlpool, and waterfall even. Nice. Anyway, before you talk to Bugsy, I oh. Never mind. I was gonna say I, I feel like this this video might be a little long, so it might be fun to cut out Bugsy for the next episode. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> it's fine. I'm sure Bugsy I mean, can, won't take we can that still, long. We can still do it. That's not randomized. I feel like this shouldn't take that long. Maybe it will. Ah. I mean, he's it's level seventeen, and you're only level twenty. This is this is very true. Although I kind of expected, I was hoping um, Ember would have done a little bit more. Um. I, you'll I, you'll be fine. I hope so. Well, I, that's true. I am. And he's, also use, and he's using false swipe. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say even if you use the bug type move on fire, which should resist it, right? Uh, it'll do neutral damage. Yeah. Well, that's what I meant. Yeah. Okay. okay there. <laughs> Why do I feel like Scyther is probably one of his more uh, notable Pokemon? Yes. You are correct. Well, at least we got that out of the way. And a Cricket Tot. You were so close! <laughs> you were so close to... Uh... Be having the other one. Actually, I called Bugsy a he. Is he a he or a she? Uh, Bugsy is a, is a he. Yes. Okay. The he's, sprite. He's very, he, I, I like. I saw the very androgynous. <laughs> I saw the sprite and I'm like, it made me question for a second if I just. <laughs> Accidentally misgendered. Whoa, amazing! You're an expert on Pokemon. Well, you know, right. I try. <laughs> the Hive Badge. Yeah, you see, it didn't take that long. It only took, like, a couple minutes. Yeah. Pokemon that no cut will be able to use it. Alright. What did we get? Team eighty nine bug buzz or U turn. U -turn. Okay, oh, U turn is a great U turn is a great move. All right, now that we're finished with that, <laughs> thanks for watching this Hyper Axion episode of Pokemon Soul Silver. Uh, join us next time for More continued adventures. More shenanigans. <laughs>